Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And I am so excited and I'm deeply inspired and I have a conviction about making sure today's message just rocks your world. I know that you're busy. Everyone's busy. In fact, even if you're not busy, people will go, hey, how you doing? I'm busy. Because if you're not busy or you say you're not busy, people go, what's wrong with you? Everyone's busy. It's like a, it's like a badge of honor to be wicked busy. And you may be a person who every now and then has um, missed an opportunity to love on someone because of your busyness. You're going through your day, you're getting your checkoff list done, you're just you know, boom, 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 and there's this kind of little bit of self-absorption versus self-awareness. And, and at the end of the day, you look back and go, wow, there were moments where I missed an opportunity to impress my spiritual power on someone. And now, don't mistake spiritual power with anything to do with the ego. Spiritual power is simply the transference of love, the transference of positive energy. And it really happens in the power of presence. And this is really all about the power of something called micro moments of harmonic resonance. Micro moments of harmonic resonance. And one of my favorite researches is this is brilliant and beautiful human being. Her name is Barbara Fredrickson. And she has written several books. Uh, my favorite book she's written is called Love 2.0. And she works out of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. She's a doctor, she's a researcher, and she is all about how it is that we can learn that all of us have this power to transform ourselves, but more importantly, use that power to transform the people around us, ultimately transforming the world, and not needing a lot of time to do it. So she has been studying this whole idea of micro moments, of harmonic resonance, where literally in just a few moments, one, three, four, five seconds, of being 100% present. Now, you know, it's like, for some people it's like weird. Being present is weird, like, oh my gosh, I make eye contact and people get like, well, yeah, isn't that symptomatic? Eye contact, what? and it's beautiful. You don't have to stare at people, it's just soften your eyes and just smile and, and listen. Or when someone says something, you know, loving, just come back with love again. But don't look away. That is the, that's the model of her research. We get so busy that these micro moments, could be a stranger in an elevator, could be uh, somewhere checking out the grocery store, could be uh, someone we love a ton. But because we're in our space, we don't open up to the grace that's right in front of us in just a few moments. Here's what's interesting. We get wrapped up in the pace of life and we think we don't have the time. But if you've got three or four seconds, and we all do, no matter how busy we are, stopping everything, putting down your phone, being there, for just those moments can literally help the exchange of all kinds of hormones, raising certain powerful neurotransmitters, lowering inflammation, connecting at a deep physiological, neurochemical, and I believe emotional and spiritual level. And here's what's beautiful. If you can make three or four of these three or four second connections happen throughout the day, I was that's gonna be like 12 or 15 seconds total, you literally are lowering inflammation. You are literally extending your livelihood. You are helping yourself to feel more vital, more strong, more confident, more creative, more courageous. And this is like something in the morning I think about and I set an intention, I'm brushing my teeth or I'm in my meditation, I end it with this. Remember to look for the moments where I can impress the love upon somebody wonderfully unexpectedly. Remember the moments. And I look forward to those. I'm setting the intention. I'm getting my mind to start looking for these moments where I can run into people, stop everything, and be there. Be 100% there. And knowing, yeah, my physiology and my neurochemistry is loving this, but this energy exchange is what really gets me geeked out in a beautiful, beautiful spiritual way. 15 to 20 seconds a day. Be intentional. Not just with the ones who are safe, because yeah, it's easy to do that with my wife or my kids and some of my best friends. Oh, but do I love doing it with a stranger. I love doing it with someone who is so unexpected because they're so used to just going through the motions and not being connected to that you literally are there. How are you? Think, wonderful pair of shoes. I, I, I love that. I love that color on you. Or I see some heaviness. I want you to know that I appreciate what you're doing. Little things like that. Shifting chemistry, changing the world. 15 to 20 seconds a day. You have the power. We have the power. It's time to turn it on. Much love, all blessings. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.